Okay, so we're going to start with our wing repair example. And this is a sunset moth from Madagascar, which is a very beautiful moth. And this specimen is in pretty good shape, except for this unfortunate chip in the wing. And it's really not a big defect, but it is noticeable. So we're going to try to repair this. And in the best of all worlds, if you happen to have a wing that is from the same species, and we do in this case, uh, then you're completely set up and ready to go. But if you don't have a wing that's from the same moth, you can sometimes uh, improvise a little bit with a wing that is from a similar color category or similar color group. And this is a morpho wing which has a black brown edge. And if we didn't have this urania wing, this wing might suffice instead, and we could take out just a bit of the black that matches the black of this wing, and that might work also. But since we have this from a leftover moth from a, a spare wing that we found in our parts department, we'll use this. Now what you want to do is take a piece of the wing that matches the piece where you're trying to repair. So in this case, we just need a bit of the wing that's about uh, probably a quarter inch long by a quarter inch deep. So we're going to take that piece and neatly clip it out with some scissors. Okay. There we go. So this little rectangle here should be a nice fit for that. Now for glues and adhesives, there are several different glues that would work well for this project. Uh, a 527 glue, which is a common craft glue available in most um, craft and DIY stores like Joann's or Michael's for instance. Uh, or a super glue, but preferably one that is a gel variety. And the gel component is nice because it gives a little extra viscosity or thickness to the glue, uh, which helps keep it in the place that we place it as opposed to, to running all over the place. Okay. So, there are a few different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you uh, the easiest one. I like to keep a little piece of paper for excess glue and spill over. So I find to place the glue on the wing, it's easiest to do it actually on the back side of the wing, or the area that's not going to be seen after the repair is done. So what I'm going to do is take the glue and just gently put a little bit on the top side of the repair area, like there, and a little bit on the bottom side, like so. And if we take our patch, so to speak, and orientate it the same way, and then line it up and carefully set it about where we want it to go, the glue that's already underneath the wing should help hold it in place, and we can tweak carefully and make small adjustments to the placement and let's have a look at the top side you can see that looks pretty darn good and because we used a piece from the same exact species the coloration match matches almost perfectly
Now there is a little itty bit of hangover there that perhaps is keeps it from looking perfect. So with our scissors we can go in and very carefully trim that off. Let's see. Hmm. And there it is. What I would say looks like a pretty perfect wing. Even from the underside, it's fairly hard to tell where the repair was. And that's a moth that I would be fine putting in a lot of collections and a beautiful saved specimen.